Abbott and Costello program, starring Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. The Abbott and Costello program. And spotlighting that chunky, chubby little cherub, who, when caught asking a neighbor lady to take her shoes off, because his Uncle Artie Stebbins said she had crow's feet, calmly says, I'm a bad boy! Why weren't you here fixing up the house for the party tonight? Oh, hey, Abbott, I had to get down to jail to get my landlady out. You know, Mrs. Satchel Puss? Yeah. I had to get her out on bail. What do you she mean? got arrested for shoplifting. They finally caught her. Uh, I thought she mm -hmm. was too smart to get caught. Well, she made a mistake. She stole an alarm clock and hid it in her bustle. Well, <laughs> how did they catch her? Her bustle went off at a quarter of eight. <laughs> but, never mind your landlady. Never mind your landlady. Did you send out the invitations for the party? Oh, yeah. I got them right here. Look what it says. What is it? Luke Costello invites you to a Christmas party to be held at his home. B-A-P-O-B. B-A-P-O-B. <laughs> yep, yep. You mean R-S-V-P. Oh, no. I mean B-A-P-O-B. Bring a pound of butter. <laughs> oh, boy. What a party I'm going to have. My Aunt May will bring her cranberry sauce. That's her specialty. Aunt Catherine will bring her plum pudding. That's her specialty. And Ann Eva will bring her 14 children. That's... Uh, uh, that's a nice family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never mind your relatives. Rock, forget about your relatives for a minute, Lou. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you remember to get souvenirs for everybody? Oh, souvenirs. Yes. Yeah, I'm having favors for the girls. At 12 o'clock, I'm going to turn the lights off. Oh, yeah. Uh, any favors for the men? What do you call turning the lights off? Uh, look, Costello. <laughs> who did you invite besides your relatives? Oh, a lot of movie stars. And I invited Lana Turner. And she kissed me. Lana Turner kissed you? The smoke isn't coming out of my ears for nothing. <laughs> Look, Costello, how about the tree? Uh, did you get a tree? <laughs> did you get a tree? Oh, did I get a tree? Yes. I got the biggest Christmas tree you well, ever saw. Well. I just got through putting it in the living room. You did? What a tree! It's six feet higher than the ceiling. Well, it's a shame to have to cut the top off. That's the way I felt about it, too. Sure, sure. So I cut a hole in the ceiling. I have... <laughs> you cut a hole in the ceiling of our, our living room? Yeah, this will be the first Christmas we ever had a tree in our bathroom. Huh? <laughs> Talk sense. We love it. What kind of a tree did you get? Is it a fur? Oh, yes. It's one of those... What did you say? I said, did you get a fur? No, I got a tree. Uh... Oh, stop this silliness. <laughs> I, I, I want to see your fur. See my fur? Certainly. What am I, a silver fox? No, 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 you dummy. I'm not talking about uh, fur, F-U-R. The fur, the fur, I mean, has an eye in it. Oh, the fur has an eye in it? Yes. Just one eye? Uh, certainly there's just why. one eye in fur. Must be I, J. Fox. No, 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 look. I'm... <laughs> I'm... Please, stand still when I'm talking to you. Yes, sir. I'm talking about a fur tree. Mm -hmm. Now, will you quit talking about the fur with you in it? You doesn't belong in the kind of fur I'm talking about. I doesn't belong in that kind of fur? Oh, yes, I belongs in it, but uh, you doesn't. Well, why should you belong in fur if I doesn't? <laughs> I happen to look better in fur than you do. I'm prettier than you. Uh, I'm cuter than no, you. No, no remarks, no remarks. You're bad boy. Never mind. I'm trying to find out what kind of a Christmas tree you got. Look, wait a minute, here, I've got it. What kind of bark did it have? What kind of bark? Yes. Uh, didn't you notice the uh, tree's bark? No, I have my earmuffs on. No, no, no. Idiot. Bark, bark, bark. Oh, bark. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. Catella, the bark of the tree is the outer coat. Did the uh, tree have a rough coat? No, but the girl who sold it to me had on a smooth sweater. No, look. <laughs> and no, ti no time for singing, please. Uh, the bark is the coat. Yeah. You find on the trunk of a fir tree. A tree has a trunk? Oh, of course. That must be where he keeps his coat fur. No, Costello. I, I'm going to try to explain it to you. Now, you would, yes. all Christmas trees belong to the pine family. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, this yes. Christmas tree belongs to me, no, brother. No, wait a minute. Let the pine family get the wrong tree. <laughs> Forget the pine family, Costello. I don't think you know anything about trees. Who don't? You don't. I do. I raised my own trees. Did you see them yourself? Did I see them? <laughs> yes, yes, I ask you, did you seed your own trees? Yes, I seed them every day I seed them this morning, I seed them last night You can come over and seed them any time oh, you okay. want okay. How can I seed them when you seeded them first? Look, Abbott, what have I got in front of my house? Uh, 
the trees. Did you see them? No. Did I see them? Yes. In other words, you looked at my trees, but you didn't see them. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Let me smell your breath. I don't know why I spent time with you. I was trying to tell you about the pine tree. Uh, we get tar from pine. We get what? A tar. Tar. Haven't you ever heard of pine tar? No, but I heard of a tree tar. Tree tar? Yeah. Clang, clang, clang went the tree tar. Ah. Clang, clang, clang went the tree tar. <laughs> Costello, what did we have to come downtown for? Oh, I gotta get some more spaghetti, Abbott, so I can finish trimming my Christmas tree. I couldn't find any tinsel this year, so I'm trimming a tree with spaghetti. And boy, does it look beautiful. Oh, what's beautiful about trimming a tree with spaghetti? Every time I plug it in, the meatballs light up. <laughs> there, yes, you go. Thank you. there you go with that silliness again. Hey, Abbott, look who's in the car. It's that movie actress, Bessie May Mucho. <laughs> Hello, Miss Mucho. Hello, boys. Gee, I'm glad I saw you. I want to invite you to my Christmas party tonight, Miss Mucho. Oh, I'm very sorry, but I have to go down to Los Angeles. I'm having a dinner party at the Ambassador Hotel. <laughs> the Ambassador Hotel. Oh, sure, Rabbit. You know where the Ambassador is. That's the home of the Cuckoo Nut Groove. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a thrilling dinner. Yeah. We're going to have crab louis and steamed clams. Clams? <laughs> yes. Don't you just adore clams? No, I'd rather have a plate of Freud oosters. <laughs> well, I must be ski dawdling along. I beg your pardon? I must be ski dawdling along. Oh, we will say. But sometimes. <laughs> I sure knock off those Spanish words, don't I? Well. That's one turn down for your party. I don't care, Rabbit. I don't care if she don't want to come. Well. Here comes my girlfriend, Lena Gensler. She'll come to my party tonight. She's madly in love with me. Ah, there you are, you sawed-off Boris Karloff. <laughs> Standing on street corners, flirting with girls. I wasn't flirting with any girls, Lena. I'm saving myself for you. Thanks, Faso, for saving so much. <laughs> I've got a bone to pick with you. I put some of that perfume you gave me on my hair. Wait a minute. I think it has a nice golden tint. Uh, what is it? Chanel number five? No. Chemtone number seven. <laughs> Color and all. <laughs> you little worm. Please, Lena, let's be friends. I'd never desert you. I'd stand by you. I'm as solid as the rock of Gibraltar. I can believe that. You're sticking out in the Mediterranean. <laughs> Look, Lena, don't talk like that. I was just going to ask you to come to my Christmas party tonight. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm going out with Van Johnson tonight. Oh, Van Johnson. You always talk about Van Johnson. <laughs> Take away his blonde curly hair and what do you got left? I don't know, but you can deliver it to my house in the morning. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, there's number two that ain't going to come to my party hey, tonight. Hey, Costello, look. Isn't that Mrs. Niles getting off the streetcar? Oh, hello, Mr. Abbott. Do you always stand on street corners leaning on a trash can? Oh, that's Costello. I didn't recognize him. <laughs> hey, he looks like the third day of the last weekend. You know, I wish you hadn't said that, Mrs. Niles. I was going to thank you for that beautiful Christmas card I got this morning. Oh, it really was nothing. It was merely a picture of me smiling. I know it, but how did you get your teeth to spell out Merry Christmas? <laughs> Stop that, or Mrs. Niles won't come to your party. I wouldn't come to his party anyway. I always run around with younger people. It helps me to keep young. Oh, in fact, I dread to think of life at 70. Why? What happened then? <laughs> I've had enough of you. Goodbye. Well, it looks like you're not going to have any party. That's the third turndown you've had. I don't care, Rabbit. Uh, Let's go home. I'm going to call up some of my other friends. I'll get somebody to come. Here, come on, let's grab this cab. Cabby, drive us to North Hollywood. North Hollywood? What's the matter with Glendale? There's nothing wrong with Glendale. I don't live there. Oh, Glendale ain't good enough for you, huh? <laughs> go on, go on, Costello, say it. Glendale is a one-horse town. Glendale ain't a one-horse town. Oh, then why did I lose my job with the city street department? Go on. Go on, don't stand there. Say it. Say it. Tell people I'm not a citizen of Glendale. Come on, say I never even voted. You voted, you voted, you voted! 
three times, huh? Go on, go on, start a rumor. Tell everybody I got paid when I voted. Merit Head, you didn't get a cent for voting. Oh, the six dollars they gave me was for a dog life. Oh, now I'm a dog, huh? Tell everybody I'm a dog. Throw me a piece of liver. I wouldn't throw you my liver. What's the matter with your liver? All right, you tell me what's wrong with my liver. Get a load of this punk. Now, he wants me to go to school for four years, study day and night to be a doctor, just so I can tell him what's wrong with his liver. <laughs> Marinhead, I don't want you to go to school. Oh, you want me to be a moron like you. <laughs> please, please, fellows, this, this is the Christmas season. Remember, peace on earth. Yes, Marinhead, why do you have to pick on me like this? Yes, Marinhead, haven't you ever heard of the expression... Turn the other cheek. Boys, you're right. I feel sorry for everything I said here tonight, and I, I'd like to turn the other cheek so I can feel the humility. Costello, will you please slap me? You mean that? Yes. You mean... Oh, I slapped you before I should, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, now, slap the other cheek. Here. Are you kidding? No. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, Costello. You know, nobody would ever believe that Melonhead would turn the other cheek. Costello? Yes. Will you please write down on this paper here that I did? Oh, sure. Sure. I, Luke Costello, slapped Melonhead on both cheeks. There you are. I suppose you're going to show this to all your friends. No. I'm going to show it to my lawyer. I'll <laughs> sue you for assault. I'll sue you for battery. Get me a lawyer. Get me a judge and a jury. I'll be sure. Get me out of here! <laughs> Well, Costello, it's 12 midnight. Not a soul has shown up for your party. I can't understand it. I don't know. Nobody showed up for my party at all. I thought my girlfriend, Lena, would surely show up. Yes. It's a shame that you aren't going to, to get to kiss her under the mistletoe. The what? The mistletoe. Didn't you ever kiss a girl under the mistletoe? No, I always kiss them under the nose. <laughs> well, it looks like nobody's going to kiss you tonight. Yes, Abbott. All my friends have deserted me. I'm just a failure. Ah, oh, no, you're not, Costello. You're a big success. No, Abbott, I'm just a complete flop. No, you're not, Costello. You're a great guy. Now, no, Co Abbott, I'm just a sort of little ugly-looking dope. Well, don't stand there. Argue with me. <laughs> oh, stop this, Costello, please. I'm going to bed, Abbott. Good night. Wait a minute. Aren't you uh, going to hang up your stocking? No. Santa Claus won't even come here. Now, that's wrong, Costello. Santa Claus loves everybody. He doesn't love me, Abbott. He don't. Santa Claus has never come to my house on Christmas since I was seven years old. I was a smart aleck little kid in those days, just like some boys and girls are today. I went around saying I didn't believe in Santa Claus. If a kid come up and said he believed in Santa Claus, I used to say, Ah, oh, you're nothing but a sissy. There ain't no Santa Claus. That's your father. But now I realize how wrong I was. I want to tell all the little boys and girls what happened to me. Let's all be children again. Let me take you back to Christmas Eve some 20 years ago. I'd been out all day playing with my friends Chowderhead Abbott and Skinny Niles. It was a beautiful Christmas Eve. Snow was falling. And you could see the lights on the Christmas trees in all the houses. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just like the ones we used to know. I'm not, I'm not choking it, Ma. I'm trying to get the money out. <laughs> well, there's no money in that cat. Oh, yes, there is. Last night when Pa was playing poker, I heard him say, everybody put money in a kitty. <laughs> oh, that's good. for your father now. No, that was kind of a sneaky knock. It's probably the Iceman. Oh, never mind the door. I'll see who it is. You go wash your dirty face. Oh, Ma, why can't I just go up and, 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 and cover the dirt with powder like you do? <laughs> Why, it's the little Abbott boy and the Niles boy. Yeah, uh, we came over to tell you what Louie did. He came over to my house and asked my mother to bend her head down so he could see her horns. You snitcher. Why? <laughs> Why, Louie Costello, you naughty boy. Whatever made you think that Mrs. Abbott had horns? I heard you say that when she got dressed up, she looked like the devil. <laughs> yeah, Nanny Dalton, she did either, Miss Costello. Louie said my mother keeps a cat in the icebox. Why, Mrs. Niles does not keep a cat in her icebox. 
Captain, why does everybody say she's got a frozen puss? <laughs> you children, stop this arguing. And, Louie, you get ready for bed right away. Santa Claus may be coming along any minute now. Good night. Gee, I can hardly wait until Santa Claus gets here. Listen, Kenny. I, I hear sleigh bells. Yeah, and I can hear him walking around on the roof. He's getting ready to come down the chimney. <laughs> Son, Louis Costello. Boys and girls, that happened over 20 years ago, and Santa Claus has never come back to see me to this day. Please, kiddies, take a lesson from me and be good boys and girls, so that next Monday night, Christmas Eve, you won't be waiting for Santa Claus that didn't come like I've been waiting for all these years. Oh, come, Lou, I guess we'd better go to bed. It's Nina and Connie Haynes and it's Melonhead and Ken Isles. Oh, boy, you all came to my party. Yes, yes, and I'm here too, Louis. Santa Claus, you finally came and you even brought your horse with you. What horse? It's me. <laughs> Pardon me, Mrs. Niles. 
gee, I didn't dream that anything like this was going to happen. I thought that nobody cared about me anymore. I was dreaming of a sly Christmas. I thought my friends had passed me by. Why, you know, Costello, that you're one fellow that we all think is high. <laughs> you are loved by both the kids and old folks. Though you have whiskers on your jokes. <laughs> May your life be merry and bright. And may your, your Christmas to be. Help me, Mrs. Miles. Why? Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, wait a minute. Abbott. I, uh, hey, Abbott, wait I, a minute. I don't see that guy here that always yells, No, no, not that. You know what oh, I mean? Costello. Oh, I didn't want to spoil oh, the Christmas oh. spirit on your show. Oh, that's awfully sweet of you. I also want to thank you for that lovely present you sent me. That's the best game I ever played. Game? I didn't send you any game. I sent you an autographed picture of myself. How do you like that? My wife and I sat up all night trying to pin a tail on it. <laughs> Good night, folks. A Merry Christmas to everybody. Yes, Merry Christmas to everybody. And don't forget to buy another Victory Barn at your local theater. Merry Christmas to everybody in Patterson, New Jersey. The Abbott and Costello Show will be back at the very same time next week. Don't miss it. This is Ken Niles in Hollywood wishing you all a pleasant. Good night. This is the National Broadcasting Company.